basically I was uh, driving in Northampton town where um, there's a lot car park and then I was waiting a car park space for someone to pull out and then literally by the time I was waiting just right next to the car I realized that there was a someone just that punch on my window on my driver's side window so I put the window down and then he spit on my face straight away without even not knowing that person a strange face that I've never met before all I could hear is just a shouting, screaming, um, saying that, oh, your terrorism, get out. They should not let you drive in our town, my country, get out. All the, all the um, words that you could never imagine. And then I was so shocked. All I said back to him was, I don't think you should not do this. And all my kids in the car listening to our conversation. All I did was trying to calm him down, but he didn't want to calm down at all. Um, after that, he just walked off, went back in the car. All I did was get out of the car, get his registration number, and then reported it, everything that I could say, whatever I heard, I told him what happened. It was the worst thing that I've ever seen before, with more physical, punch in my car, a spit on my face. I was not expecting none of these. And I could see the frustration if I was out, then he might do more. I'm very open to people, I talk to people, and then to get that, this negativity. If it was not me, then I could imagine that there's a lot weaker people than I am. But it was a shocking to me. I've seen things before, but it was never been like this. The reason I'm doing this, to reach out to everyone, just to think about before they do anything is stupid, because if I look different, because if I wore hijab, does it make me any different from them? I would probably say that get to know to the people. You don't know people because you're only judging their physicality, which I see is completely wrong. When I reported it to the Giddle Hall, the person I spoke to, I said, I don't want him to be um, arrested. Maybe if he's done before, then he cannot get away with it. But if he doesn't do it, I didn't want him to have a, a record I care about for his family. You know what I mean? If you want to get to know someone, just have a chat with them, a cup of tea talk to them, what do you do for a living? All this is stuff that is really important from both sides without judging, without judging, because you don't know that person, what's behind that, that clothes that you're only judging. So I would say to please take it easy. I believe we all the same. Reported because um, the more people it reaches, uh, something might be done. I would say that I believed if many people I believe that guy was stressed from work, but he just took it on me for the wrong person, at the wrong place, at the wrong time with my kids. I don't want this hate crime to go around between us. We are loving a lovely community and let's share the laugh rather than hate.